water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sing. He cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. He said, you have little faith. Why did you doubt me? So basically what's happening in these stories is Jesus and all of his disciples were on a boat. I don't exactly recall where they were going, but they were on a boat, and I'm guessing it was windy, so Peter said, it's all wind. So if it was windy, I would figure that the waves are pretty high, and walking on water is considered impossible, and if there were high waves, I'm pretty sure we would be scared. But what I find interesting is Jesus looked at Peter and said, come. And Peter trusted Jesus enough that he got out of the water and he started walking on it. So while Peter was walking on the water, he looked around and he saw that there was wind blowing and he probably saw the waves and honestly he probably got a little scared. And I would have too if I saw those waves and I'm pretty sure you guys would too. So he saw the waves and he took his eyes off of Jesus and then he started to sink. But Jesus saved him and said, you have little faith. Does anyone know what faith means? You do? Yeah. You need to have trust in Jesus and the Lord. Is when you have faith in the Lord and you 
will always keep your eyes on Him and keep your eyes on what the true prize is, things will work out for you. I'm not saying life will be easy because life is really easy. It's just there's going to be some hard times. There's always hard times. There are some days that you're going to lose. But if you keep your eyes on what is the true prize instead of focusing on something else, then you will succeed and you will get the prize in the end, which is going to spend eternity with Jesus in heaven. So it's kind of hard to do that sometimes because there are things in the world that take our mind off of what is really real and what we need to pay attention to. Like, I'm not sure what you guys are into because the last time I paid attention to mainstream things was a while ago, so I'm not sure what you guys do on your free time, but like, whatever it is, it shouldn't be taking over your life to where Jesus isn't your number one. Jesus should always be the person you pay attention to in the long run. So if you are like me and you really like playing piano or you like playing an instrument, you can use that to play an instrument for the Lord. It shouldn't be something that you're always doing that's not for us. And um, it's really hard for me. <laughs> so having faith is something that you really need to do. And it's kind of hard because you can't see Jesus. We can't see him. And sometimes we feel like he may have us. And that happens more than others. Like if you something happens to you that's really bad, like you lose a friend or something, it's kind of hard to believe that Jesus is there because you're sad and it kind of hurts, but Jesus is always there and he'll never take you through something that you can't handle.